Good morning, everyone. This is Ashton with Ashton Automotive and Performance. Uh, I got a tech tip today. This one's diesel related. Um, kind of an interesting story with this truck behind me. Uh, we diagnosed it initially. Uh, it had the, the high pressure pump that came apart on it. Uh, typically, in that situation, it would you would get the entire fuel system replaced, pump, injectors, lines, filters, um, everything, the rails, everything. Uh, that make Ford makes a kit for this because it's such a common problem. Uh, and if you do have a Ford 6 7 2011 and up, uh, there is a pending uh, class action lawsuit with this problem. So, um, so if you've had to have this repair done, uh, save your receipts because you can most likely be reimbursed if that passes through. Uh, and most likely it is because it's a pretty common problem. This truck's got like 119,000 miles on it and it's very common right at that 100 to 120,000 mile mark to, for this to happen. Um, the, anyways, so the, we diagnosed that. He wanted, because of the price, it was with the kit and everything, it was gonna be about $7,500 to do that, to do that repair with everything. Um, he wanted a second opinion, so he took it to another shop that he's dealt with in the past. Um, they confirmed our diagnosis, but they were like, look, we'll try to just put just a pump in it and see what happens. Uh, charged him $3,500 to put a pump in, which was kind of high. Uh, the, and of course, it didn't fix the entire problem. It was able to get it started barely, but uh, we could only get it running, starting it on, on ether. And, uh, but they were like, well... We got it to run again, but it's knocking. It's, it needs an engine. So, and they were started to price him out an engine. Uh, he was like, "Well, I don't got you know, I don't got sixteen to twenty thousand dollars to put an engine in this." Um, so I was like, "Look, bring it back over here. Uh, we'll see what see what's happened. We'll we'll pull a pan on it. See if there's any. Because we have seen on this failure, we've seen it take out the engines before. It's again, if you run it, if you try to keep going when it starts to fail." Uh, instead of just stopping and shutting it off, like I said it can catastrophically damage the motor. So we get it in. Um, we pull the pan, no metal in the pan. So I was like, well, it didn't stack a rod bearing or anything. So we uh, put the pan back on, and we're like, and you could, when you're cranking it over, you could audibly hear there was one cylinder that just didn't sound right, compression wise, or it was like, you know, like I said, it was almost trying to hydrolock. It was also throwing a, a code for rail pressure during cranking not high enough. Uh, so we, we knew something was going on. The, the fuel system was bleeding down. You turn, you let it build up some pressure, shut it off, and go immediately back to zero. Uh, so we got it to, we started on ether. I had the power balance on the scanner hooked up. Uh, we could see number three was just dipping, 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 not firing. And it was just dumping diesel out the exhaust uh, and knocking. Um, so we took the number three out. Sure enough, it was just blowing straight through the nozzle. And we go, um, so we ended up doing, put the number three injector in. Uh, but we, like I said, when we noticed when it was running on just the ether, the motor was fairly quiet. So we, we had good intentions. Like tech tip today is, a diesel can knock if it's being over fueled, especially if you have an injector leaking through. It can cause a pretty audible knock that almost sounds like rod knock, but it's technically, like I said, it's over fueling. Uh, it can cause a really hard knock. Uh, put it in and fired right up, no problems. It's quiet as quiet as can be. So, just for you, for your diesel techs out there that are, are maybe just getting into the diesel. Uh, just because a diesel is knocking, not running or not running right, said so check your fuel system stuff first. Injectors, uh, if they're hanging open, it's gonna do the same thing. Have a good one.